Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it is currently Tuesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. So, first of all, happy Valentine's Day out there to everybody. Singles, couples, whatever you might happen to be, just enjoy the day as it is. You know, it's a nice day to share the love, or just, just to enjoy the day as it is. And, of course, being Tuesday, that means we are a day late on my usual, uh, what would you call it, schedule for the news update video thingies, but it is here. The reason is, well, for a couple of reasons. First of all, we are currently in the Maritimes, in my part of the world here in Canada. We have been hammered by a brutal snowstorm yesterday, Monday the 13th of February. It started on Sunday evening, going all through Monday, and just finishing up here on Tuesday. So I had to do a lot of shoveling today to get stuff cleared out of my area here. And the, of course, the downside is this sort of shows me being sort of a slacker in a way. Monday, nothing was going on. Buses were shut down. All businesses were shut down pretty much. So. I had plenty of time to sit here and record, yet I just didn't have the energy to do so. I didn't even do anything all day, but I think it might be because sometimes when you have sort of a bad weather situation going on, you sort of feel it in your head kind of thing, you know? So I just didn't have the energy needed to do any recording yesterday. I was going to wait and see if I could get anything else recorded. Well, I was going to record maybe last night, but again, no energy. And I was going to wait and see if anything else newsworthy came up today on Tuesday that I could talk about, but nothing really did that I could see. So everything I have pre-written pre here to talk about is what we're going to talk about for the news today. But before we get into anything else, I will mention that I do have a booster pack, of course, of Pokemon TCG I'm going to open up. I'm going to give the code card out to a lucky viewer who answers the question of the day at the end of the video. Now, technically, I like to go through the rotations of each expansion in the order they came out when I'm opening these packs in the videos. So, last week was Breakpoint, so I should have Fates Collide for this week, but I don't have any Fates Collide packs available at the moment. So, I'm going to skip ahead and go to Steam Siege, because I would have gone out to pick one up yesterday, but again, buses and businesses and such were shut down, so I couldn't even have gotten anywhere to find a Fates Collide, but... I keep a record on the computer of each pack I've opened on these videos in the order that I've done it, and I have a record noting that I haven't gotten the Fates Collide for this week, so as soon as possible I will pick one of those up and have it for a pack opening in these news update video thingies at some point. But anyway, moving on, before we get into anything else further, let's talk about last week's question of the day. The question I posed to you folks out there was, which Mega Evolution Pokemon, either video game or TCG, is your favorite and why? And the lucky winner of the code card from the Breakpoint booster that I opened up is Josiah Guerrera, who says, Mega Mewtwo EX in TCG Online is my favorite because if you are stacking energy on Mewtwo EX, the moment you evolve it to Mega, it has almost an unstoppable Psychic Infinity attack that can one-shot anything. And that is true, I've fought that Mega Mewtwo a number of times. Something you could actually do to uh, get, you know, make sure you get enough energy on the Mewtwo before it gets knocked out. And I've seen someone use this strategy before. Keep a Carbank with Safeguard ability active so Pokemon EX cannot touch it as you're stacking energy onto it. As soon as you're able to do so, play Ninja Boy, which will swap that basic Pokemon for a basic Pokemon from your deck, which could be Mega Mewtwo EX, and it counts the number of turns that Carbink was in play as turns the Mewtwo EX has been in play. If you can then put the Spirit Link and Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo EX, you've got a fully powered Mega Mewtwo EX, which more than likely has not been touched by the opponent if they were using uh, Pokemon EX. So that's a little idea you could try out, but however it works for you, Josiah Guerrero, congratulations on winning the code card. I have sent that to you in an email. And again, for your chance, folks out there to win the code card from the Steam Siege Pack I'm going to open up, stay tuned for a question of the day towards the end of the video as I open this one up. <coughs> now, let's move on to the news. First thing I'm going to mention regarding the video games of Sun and Moon. Currently, you can go to... Wait, i got to move this way. So I can have like a nice little image up here. I want to put a little backdrop behind all the image photos that we put up here. I'm going to get to that. I would have done it for this week, but again, I don't have a lot of time. I didn't even say this. I don't have a lot of time to record the news today, which I'm kind of happy why it's a shorter news day, news video, because I got to get some other stuff recorded. And so anyway, long story short, next week I'm going to try to have a nice little news format thing put up here that you can see more highlighted uh, photos and images for the news things. Anyway, moving on. You can pick up a code card at code card at participating GameStop stores to get a bottle cap in Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon. From February 13th, which was yesterday, until March 5th, you can pick up this code at or this code card at GameStop stores. You have to enter the code by May, uh, May 13th. After that, it will be invalid. <clears throat> but of course, if you don't know what bottle caps do, you take them to a character called Mr. Hyper. 
in the shopping mall of Howley City, in the shopping district, of course. And you can boost the IVs, the individual values, not the EVs, not the super training. You can boost your IVs of a level 100 Pokemon using a bottle cap. And I'm not sure how that plays out just yet. I haven't done it. I still don't think I'm going to do it. I like the fact that my Pokemon are limited in certain ways. For example, I've been talking recently about Sheldon the Blastoise has zero IVs in attack. So that's going to make me want to use him not as a physical offensive attacker, more of a defensive and utilitarian kind of a Pokemon. So I like to sort of play up the natural individual values of my Pokemon as they are. But if anyone out there wants to use the bottle cap to boost their stats, their IVs for their Pokemon, go right ahead. More power to you. You can pick up one of these code cards from GameStop. Now, if you also, while you're at GameStop, per uh, purchase or pick up. $11.95 in TCG purchases, you'll pick up a code card for TCG Online that gets you a hard-to-find Pangoro promo card, a Stuffle card, a Beware card, and a Sun and, or a pack of Sun and Moon sleeves in the online game. I think I saw that when I last logged in, it shows uh, Beware is the sleeve, so you can pick yourself up a couple of uh, rare collectibles in the online TCG game right there by picking up $11.95 worth of Pokemon TCG products at GameStop while you're there getting your bottle cap. Speaking of TCG, the only other things to mention are two upcoming collections that are not out until April, but they've revealed them on the online, or the website, yeah, the online website, as opposed to the offline website. They've revealed them early. So, coming out on April 7th, we have a new Pokemon TCG collector's chest, which you can see is a nice metallic tin, almost like a lunchbox sort of thing. It comes with a lot of interesting collectibles. You get five Pokemon TCG booster packs in this collector's chest, three foil promos of the starter Pokemon, Poplio, Rowlet, and Litten, and get a special Pokemon coin, two colorful sticker sheets, a mini album to collect your favorite cards and show them off. For example, maybe Pokemon GX, some foil, reverse foil cards, something like that. You also get a notepad and four pencils, all themed around Pokemon. You also get a code card for Pokemon TCG Online. Not sure what all that code card would get you. I would assume the three foil promo starters, the three foil starter promo cards. I think is how you're supposed to say that. I'm not sure what else you would get. I don't think you'd unlock the sticker sheets in the online game, but who knows, you might. But that is what you get in the collector's chest. Now, another collection coming out in April, April 7th as well, the Mimikyu Pin Collection. Now, of course, we all know Mimikyu. If you watch my playthrough of Pokemon Moon, it's such a friendly, happy Pokemon, isn't it? Ah, uh, good old Totem Mimikyu. But, in this pin collection, you get a special foil promo card of Mimikyu, which is revealed as a Psychic-type card. You get a collector's pin of Mimikyu, you get three Pokemon TCG booster packs, and a code card to unlock, I would assume, the Mimikyu promo, as well as Mimikyu deck box and card sleeves. Not sure about those last two, but usually when you get a collection like that, the online code card unlocks some cards, sleeves, and a deck box for that particular collection in the online game. And, believe it or not, that is actually... All there is to mention as far as news goes. I couldn't see anything else online to talk about. So, it's now time to get into the pack opening of the Steam Siege Booster Pack, which we'll get to in just a moment. But first, I got a question of the day for you. And it's relating to things going on in the real world around here right now. Question of the day, which, if you answer this question and leave hashtag QOTD in your comment, on Sunday, February 19th, I'll do a random drawing of everybody that left their comment answering the question with Q... Uh, Hashtag QOTD in the comment to receive the Steam Siege code card for Pokemon TCG Online, which I'll open up in just a moment. Question of the day. What is your most absolute favoritest thing about winter? Just leave that in an answer down below, in a comment down below, and use that hashtag QOTD. As for me, I would have to say... I'm playing up the annoyance of snow right now. I'm just joking. I actually love snow. It's one of my favorite things about winter. It doesn't feel like... For example, Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year. It never feels truly like Christmas until you have the snow on the ground. Like, we've had some Christmases where there has been no snow, and it's been like a green Christmas. It's, you know, it's still Christmas season and stuff, but it doesn't feel as much Christmassy as it could. So, despite the fact that I just had to shovel the driveway with all the snow plow snow piled in there, and it was all heavy, thick snow, and it's all frozen up together, you gotta break it up with a shovel. Despite all that, I still like the snow. It's one of my favorite things. Other than that, I don't know. I would say probably, basically, yeah, just snow is my favorite thing about winter. I'm not really a fan of the uh, super cold temperatures. That's one of the uh, downsides. Um, I can't think of anything else, really. I guess when it comes to Christmas time, just the, uh, the togetherness of people around you, you know, friends and family, that's a good thing, too. But that's more Christmas-centric, uh, you know, for the holiday itself, not the season of winter. So, 
yeah, I guess uh, snow overall is my favorite thing about winter. But let me know what your favorite thing is about winter in the comments below with hashtag QOTD. You have a chance to win the Steam Siege code card, which I am about to open up right now. Let's get my handy scissors out and open it up on camera. So the first thing, of course, we got to grab this code card and secret it off to the side so nobody gets it until the winner is drawn on Sunday the 19th, I believe that is. Yes. So here's the code card right here. I can't even see the code. You can't see the code. It's going off to the side. And now, let us see what random cards I get from this booster pack. Did I do this right? I hope I did this right. All right. So starting off, let me do it this way. Now, this is where I have trouble seeing sometimes, but starting off with a Tangela... Of course, we're going for the common cards first. There's a Crow Gunk with Poison Up. That's a very popular card. Poison Up says, if the defending Pokemon is poisoned, put three more damage counters on that Pokemon between turns. This effect can be applied more than once. You can get some massive poison damage off of that Crow Gunk if you poison the target. And there's a Mareep. Just talking about, sorry Mareep, you're going to get a little bit of uh, downplayed here, but talking about that Toxicroak, if you include it, or not Toxicroak, Crow Gunk, if you include it with the Toxapex from the new Sun and Moon set, every time the opponent's Pokemon retreats from the active spot, the new active Pokemon becomes poisoned. And if you have a Crow Gunk, you can add more poison to it. Plus, if you evolve into the Toxicroak from that set, Toxicroak says it's immune to all damage from poisoned Pokemon, so they could be a good combo together. Next common card, we have a Litwick. The last common card is a Hoppet. Now, uncommon cards beginning with, we have a... or an Anorith. What's the ability? Each of your stored Pokemon has no weakness. Not bad. We also have a Claw Fossil Anorith. We can actually get that Anorith into play. Here is a Nuzleaf. The Reverse Foil card is a fancy looking Armaldo. We could get the whole set of Anorith Armaldo right here. And the rare card of this pack is a Xerneas. So the same attacks as the base set Xerneas from X and Y, which makes it legal for standard play because the attacks are exactly the same. Geomancy says. I forget exactly what, basically, or choose two of your bench Pokemon. For each one, search your deck for a... Oh wait, it's a foil too, isn't it? It's foil! Search your deck for a fairy energy and attach it to that bench Pokemon. Rainbow Spear for two ra or two fairy, almost said two rainbow. Two fairy and a colorless does 100, then discard an energy from this Pokemon. So that is what I got out of my booster pack. And again, for your chance to win the online booster pack from this code, just answer that question of the day down below with hashtag QOTD in your comment. That question is, what is your most absolute favoritest thing about winter? Just leave that answer down below. And on Sunday, February 19th, we'll do the drawing for one lucky person to win that code card. With all that, we are now done for the day. A very short news update. Not really that much to mention. Excuse me, not much to mention. I could have... I suppose I could quickly mention that up until, I think, sometime tomorrow, the 15th of February, there was a special event going on in Pokemon Go for Valentine's Day. A lot of pink Pokemon are appearing a lot more common, a lot more often. I've encountered my first Chansey in that. I've got enough, uh, I've gotten about seven or eight Lickitung, and I have about enough Execute to almost evolve one of them into Executor. So pink Pokemon are showing up a lot more. You have a chance for the rest of today and into tomorrow at some point to go out and get some pink Pokemon if you don't have a lot of those in your Pokemon Go collection. So I could have mentioned that earlier, but I thought, there's only like a day left to do that. Is it really going to help people out there? But if it does help you, awesome. At least now you know about it. But with all that, we are now done for this very short, very quick news update video thingy. I want to say thanks for watching, and stay tuned later today for another episode of Pokemon Moon, where a lot more stuff happens. We're not wasting time. I shouldn't say wasting time. We're not spending the entire episode dealing with one Ultra Beast. So, more stuff is going to happen in today's episode of Pokemon Moon, and even more tomorrow. In fact, i got to record that in just about two hours from now, my time. You'll see that tomorrow. But anyway, I want to say once again, thanks for checking out the news update video thingy. Check out the links at the outro for some other videos I have done as well. Plus, check out the channel for some more Pokemon content. Subscribe if you're not subscribed right now to get daily Pokemon content, such as Pokemon TCG online videos. And this week, we're going to focus on Decidueye GX. Cool strategy using that new Pokemon from the Sun and Moon expansion. Plus, there's a Monday through Friday Pokemon Moon video series going on. There is weekend Pokemon Sapphire as well. And every Monday or Tuesday, have Pokemon news update things on the channel. But again, with all that, we are now done. Thank you once again for checking out today's news update video thingy. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.